though the snow would be falling outside, the Rebels would get off to a red-hot start in the first quarter. Mayo gambles, left Crystal Allen wide open on the wing and she'll knock it down. Kara Salter also checks into the game. She'll take a jab step and left the shot a lot. That's a great shot! That's a great shot! Hand in her face, Allen's gonna pull on the three. Bang! Allen's gonna jab to her right, throw up another shot. She's got seven. Coach Cardozo wants a timeout. Talk about who's covering Crystal Allen. 12-2, Ole Miss leading here in the first quarter. Well, I was kind of surprised that we were able to gain such an advantage uh, with Rowan Temple in the first quarter. Ladies, they can't stop us, and we stopping them, all right? And they small and undersized. Let's use our size. Here comes Gabby Crawford making her collegiate debut. Remember, she got her transfer waiver approved today by the NCAA. We didn't have to react to the news other than just be excited. We had been preparing for the moment uh, as if she was going to be clear. And then next thing you know, all I heard was, Gabby's clear, Gabby's clear. I thought it was a joke, you know, maybe <laughs> maybe somebody standing around with a camera like, up, oh, just kidding, you know, but we found out Gabby was cleared and I instantly got happy because I'm just like, ah, you know what I mean? We've been waiting for this moment forever. She worked hard every day in practice. Um, she worked hard in preseason when she was cleared to, to do individual workouts, stuff like that. She's just a hard worker. Gabby brings a high level of uh, passion and energy and toughness. Next to Crystal, she's our hardest worker. Crawford would put on her hard hat to the tune of six points and three rebounds in only 15 minutes of play. I was prepared for our team to hit and then be hit. Crawford drives baseline, attacks, puts it up and in. She's got six points. And so Temple went on a run. Mackins finds Shannon Atkinson wide open underneath the basket. Left corner to Mackins, curling off of the screen, shot fakes, drives, goes up, and banks it in. Come on, D! Let's go, Wade! Duarte gambles, Davis takes it to the rim, lays it up in traffic. I knew, I turned to my coaches and I said, look, we gotta win this for our girls because right now they just don't know. They, they got their run, but our mindset was get a stop, execute, get a stop, execute. And at the time, Crystal was hot. Smooth shot by Crystal Allen. She puts a shoulder into the defender, creates a little bit of space and fades away, knocking it down. That, that is a tough shot. We know that Crystal, she's a hot shooter. She's hard to guard, so if the ball's in her hands, something's going to happen. Allen, step back, puts the defender on the floor. I like seeing her see that with the clock ticking down, just ice water in her veins. to um, finish our games, we have to just continue to buy in and be coachable throughout the whole game and to not give in and to just fight, fight, fight. And to just do the, the little things and communicate with one another. Ole Miss is going to dribble this clock out. Final five seconds. Hey everybody, I want to thank you personally for coming out and I want to thank you all so much for coming out and supporting these girls. Please come out on Sunday and support us. Hotty toddy. toddy.